Unit 2, Lesson 11. Representing ratios with tables. Number 1. Complete the table to show the amounts of yellow and red paint needed for different sized batches of the same shade of orange paint. Explain how you know that these amounts of yellow paint and red paint will make the same shade of orange as the mixture in the first row of the table. I'm simply going to count by fives. 5, 10, 15, and 20. And on this side I'm going to count by 6. 6, 12, 18, and 24. My explanation is simply that the 5 to 6 ratio is an equivalent ratio to 10 to 12 for example because we just doubled the 5 to get 10 and doubled the 6 to get 12. We could do the same thing for each of these. Triple the 5 to get 15, triple the 6 to get 18, and quadruple the 5 to get 20, quadruple the 6 to get 24. They're all equivalent ratios. Number 2. A car travels at a constant speed as shown on the double number line. How far does the car travel in 14 hours? Explain your reasoning. So we want to know how far the car travels in 14 hours. I'm going to take this information because I know that 2 times 7 is going to give me 14 hours. And since I multiplied the 2 times 7, I have to multiply the 140 times 7. 140 times 7 980. 980 kilometers. The car will travel in 14 hours 980 kilometers. My explanation is there. Number three. The olive trees in an orchard produce 3,000 pounds of olives a year. It takes 20 pounds of olives to make three liters of olive oil. How many liters of olive oil can this orchard produce in a year? If you get stuck, consider using the table. Number four. At a school recess, there needs to be a ratio of two adults for every 24 children on the playground. The double number line represents the number of adults and children on the playground at recess. A. Label each remaining tick mark with its value. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. 0, 24, 48. So we're just counting by 24. So I have to add 24 to this number. That's going to give me 72 and 96. B. How many adults are needed if there are 72 children? Circle your answer on the double number line. Number of children, 72. So we would need 6 adults for 72 children during recess. Number five, while playing basketball, Jada's heart rate goes up to 160 beats per minute. While jogging, her heart beats 25 times in 10 seconds. Assuming her heart beats at a consistent rate while jogging, which of these activities results in a higher heart rate? Explain your reasoning. 160 beats per minute. That's the same thing as 60 seconds. So 160 beats in 60 seconds. 25 beats in 10 seconds. Let's turn this 10 into 60. So we have an unknown amount of beats in 60 seconds, which is the same thing as one minute. So 10 times 6 equals 60. So we're gonna have to multiply 25 times 6. 25 times 6 equals 150. So let's compare this heart rate. 160 beats per minute compared to 150 beats per minute. Her heart rate is higher when she's playing basketball. Number six, a shopper bought the following items at the farmer's market. A, six ears of corn for $1.80. What was the cost per ear? If six ears of corn cost $1.80, then one ear of corn costs 30 cents. 
B, 12 apples for 288. What was the cost per apple? 12 apples for 288. What's the cost per apple? 288 divided by 12. How many times does 12 go into 28? That's 2. 2 times 12 is 24. Uh, how many times does 12 go into 48? 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 1 is 4. We have 0 as the remainder. Each apple costs 24 cents. C. 5 tomatoes for $3.10. What was the cost per tomato? If five tomatoes were $3.10, then 10 tomatoes would be $6.20. Five times two is 10. $3.10 times two is $6.20. And if 10 tomatoes was $6.20, then one tomato is going to be 62 cents. So the price of one tomato is 62 cents. Let's double check. 310 divided by five. And we think the answer is 62 or 62 cents. Let's check. How many times does five go into three? Zero. How many times does five go into 31? Six. Six times five is 30. 31 minus 30 is one. Bring down the zero. How many times does five go into 10? Twice. Two times five is 10. So we have no remainder, which means we're done. 62 cents. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 2, Lesson 11, Representing Ratios with Tables.